Okay, now that we're back, I'm actually putting the last can in here. You're like, wow, that's a lot of refry bean. Yeah, it is, but you know, hey, that's what makes us good, right? That's why I'm really surprised that the cat hasn't come back in here. Now, the cat, we call him like a dog when we come back in the door because he's faithful. He's like a good, faithful dog. Like, he, you know, he just waits at the door. I think he misses us. Sometimes we will turn on the TV for him. But the cat is hilarious. Now, don't be afraid of how much is in the pan because all of this and this makes for some darn good eating. <laughs> Trust me, it makes for some darn good eating. And, um, I know, like, y'all might be thinking it looks like dog food. I would agree with you, but <laughs> I will agree with you on that. But actually, how it looks and how it tastes when everything is all put together, it's phenomenal on how, like, it can go from looking like this and you got this lovely stack of fry bread over here. And then when all of this is cooked together really nice, and then I uh, get the vegetables ready, which will be the next step for this before it's plated. And um, actually, if you love cooking and you like to put love into your food, this is what you do. You get in the kitchen and you give your food some good loving. It's kind of like being McLovin. Because <laughs> you be McLovin' it. <laughs> oh, got a little joke in there somewhere. But, now if you look at this, like if you come right over here and you look at this, you will see how this is rendering down those beans are rendering down in the in the pan now the reason that I'm using this pan instead of a Teflon pan is because the conduct conduction of the heat right um tells you I need to eat um heat conduction right so, this metal pan has more heat conduction in it than a Teflon pan, if that makes any sense to you, or a pan like that that has a ceramic. So, because this is not a ceramic pan, and I'm making sure nothing sticks because, you know, hey, um, I could have made rice to go with the refried beans, but that's another one of my dishes. <laughs> uh -huh. And something like this, you could literally turn into like a chili. You could turn this into a stew. It's already got a stew consistency anyway. I know that's chunky. But, you know, we're going to turn this down so it doesn't snap in our faces and hit us or anything. So, uh, the next step to this, because this is hot, is to uh, take on doing the vegetables. And so, since this is already hot and I'm going to let this simmer on low, um, and then also long term I'm going to pop Um, I could also just lid this to keep the heat in, which I might go ahead and grab the lid in a minute because this is really popping off. Yeah, I'm going to grab the lid. So I'm going to prep those vegetables and have everything ready to eat as soon as we come back. 